All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how you can connect Clay to essentially any email automation tool you're looking for. So you'll see if you are looking to send data out from Clay, we've already got some tools that you can easily integrate with, right? We've got HubSpot, Salesforce, Pipedrive, Outreach. The list is continuing to grow. If we do not support the tool that you're currently using though, it's not an issue because in pretty much most cases, we can use Zapier as an inter intermediary and we can send the data to Zapier. Zapier will collect that data and Zapier will send that data to the tool. And that's exactly what we're gonna go over today. First thing to go over is we've got a table here. And to just show you a quick outline of this table, I've got these companies I wanna reach out to. I wanna add all of these people into my email automation tool. And I also want to add this specific merge field because I'm gonna send them out in a campaign and reference this um, year in which their company was founded in my emails, right? So this is essentially my prospect list and my special merge field that I found with Clay. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to click send data and I'm going to use the API integration. And basically what this allows me to do is say, Hey, I want to push this data out to a specific URL. This works perfectly with Zapier because on Zapier we can say, um, sorry, I'm going to actually go back from the beginning so you can see just how I'm doing this from the start. But as the trigger, I'm going to choose a web hook. And as Clay is pushing the data out with Zapier, I'm going to say, I want you to cache that data. So it's going to wait for, you know, essentially a signal that someone's pushing data here. So there we go. I can just go through this. I can skip that for right now. And what's going to happen is Zapier gives me this web part, web hook URL, web hook URL. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to copy this and go back into Clay. And now that I'm setting up this API integration, um, again, our goal is to push the data out. And so we're gonna say post. Next, we have to choose the endpoint. And the endpoint is exactly what we just copied from Zapier, right? Just to clarify, that is right here. It's basically just saying, where should this data go? What is the endpoint for this data? And then in the body, uh, we can start to add all of this information. And so you've got the formatting right here. I'm gonna type this in really quick so you all can see what it looks like though. All right, so you can see this is the formatting here. Uh, it's pretty simple and it's nice. I will show you a little preview below, but you're putting in all the pieces of information you want. Right now I'm just using name and email. Um, I would also add merge field as well though, if I were doing this actually to a CRM that I wanted to use this merge field on. And the only thing to keep in mind here is any um, attribute you essentially want to associate with the contact, just make sure that the attribute also exists in your email CRM. And so say I wanted to push this merge field saying founded date, I would just need to make sure I create that attribute in my email CRM called founded date. And this is essentially just going to let me map it towards it, right? So once I've saved that, right? Um, what I'll then do is I'll just click run. And once that runs, I can test the trigger. And let's test it. Oh, one sec. There we go. Uh, I just had to change the URL. So as you can see, the request was found. Awesome. So now we've essentially gotten to the point where we have the data in clay. We have pushed it out to Zapier. And now we can choose what we want Zapier to then connect that data to. So again, it connects to like 5,000 plus apps. In all likelihood, if you're using a marketing email automation tool, it exists in here already. If not, definitely let us know. But in this case, we are going to use MailerLite. Um, and I've already just connected my MailerLite account right here. So I'm going to say the action I wanted to take is to create a new subscriber. And then I'm selecting the account that I've got. And finally, I get to this easy setup point where I'm really just mapping the information. So for the subscriber group, this is actually just going to be a constant. Uh, and so I'm going to select this one right here. For the email, I'm using that information that was caught by the webhook in Zapier. Boom. Name, same thing. And you can see there are additional fields here that I can add if I want to. These are all fields that I've created in MailerLite. Um, and as soon as that's done, click continue. 
test it. And awesome, we got someone at it. Uh, these are all again fields that I did not map, although I could have mapped. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, definitely let us know if you have any questions in the Slack community uh, and hope it goes well. Thanks.